hello hello welcome back to divine destiny guide sending you the purest of love and light as always god is for us who can be against us we're blessed we're highly favored we're anchored we're safe and we are protected so here we have so welcome we have projection projecting their insecurities on you so again at this time some people may be projecting on you how they are feeling so be mindful of your thoughts be mindful of the way you're feeling you know you can tell when this other feeling this other spirit come over you and you need to shake it off that's not your portion just shake it off shake it off resist the devil and he will flee he or she will flee okay yeah copycat doppelganger so this could be a copycat who is projecting their insecurities on you because again they're copying you because their are qualities their are traits their are gifts that you have um internally externally that this person wish they have and probably have worked very hard to try to copy you you know from the way you talk you eat you move because again they don't know who they are and it is very sad again we're talking about adults here when people reach certain age and stage in life where they should be comfortable in their own skin but instead they keep on looking at others with this need to compare and of course all it's gonna do is bring despair you're looking at others they're looking at you as to what you have going on when all of us have our own gifts talents and abilities but again it's for us to work on those things it's like it's already done it's there but yes there 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 we need to do the work in order to own those things even your flaws to own them to be proud of it but again people who don't want to do the work they want to take the shortcut so they want you to go through all the tests the trials the pains the obstacles the the delays the setbacks where even a lot of them could have cast or participated in these things they threw the stumbling blocks in front of you the hurdles and then when you overcome them then they're still they're envious because wow i wish i was that strong wow how do they do it you know this is people not minding their own business turning the light on and in themselves and doing the work to be the best version of themselves be comfortable in your own skin you know every, you don't know what the other person have maybe it's itchy so be thankful for what you have but again so this doppelganger could be projecting their insecurities they don't feel good about certain things or they don't want you to feel certain way so this is what they, they you know you become their project but it won't work because here in the back we have a tower moment we have a tower moment so this is exposure this is everything that was in the dark that is now coming to light so for a lot of you you could have had people or you can have people around you now who really are covert you know undercover haters really people who do not celebrate your victories and your successes but they smile in your face and you don't even know that deep down and this is why I always go back to the fact that the lust of the eyes that that is so subtle because while people are able to see oh the lust of the flesh people are doing things in the flesh and all of this stuff the lust of the eyes I'm telling you those the eye gates it's powerful it's powerful and a lot of people suffer and they struggle with that yeah so some of these people they could be sending death magic to your 
divine counterpart. So you have a divine counterpart. Again, they're projecting their insecurities too on that person as to why they shouldn't come to you, why they should feel bad about coming to you. It's like pointing out their weaknesses, their failures, their flaws. Because again, they don't want you to feel bold enough to move on to do whatever it is that you need to do or access what you need to access or tap into. So again, check those feelings. Check those feelings because then it's like one day you get up and you feel like I'm on top of the world and then a few minutes, I wouldn't even say hours, a few minutes later, you're feeling like your energy, your motivation, everything is, is lost, it is gone. You know, and so this is why you have to call your energy back. Call it back in the name of Jesus, cleanse and purify it, and return everything that's not yours. Return it to sender because that's not who you are. Because that's a spirit that comes to kill, steal, and destroy your peace. You will witness this person's karma. That's the card that came out. And in the back it says they're secretly keeping tabs on your every move. Yeah, this is why they're copycats. They're watching you. This is a doppelganger. This is a monitoring spirit. This person is toxic. It is so important to understand your your own feeling see they're hating on your creativeness and your ideas so this is a creativity muncher or moocher so they they copy your style again they're hating on your creative ideas it's their insecurities they wish they were instead of going to the creator who made them and asking, what is my gift? Why am I here? What is my purpose here? No, these people, I'm telling you, they are lazy. They don't want to do the work. They want you to go through all of that process. And then they just come in and sideswipe, steal your ideas, all, everything that you're working on. And so it's, it's important, you know, even if you have people around you, sometimes that admiration can turn to jealousy because then they start looking at themselves and then again, they start to compare, start to watch you. They become obsessed with you. So it's like even people who over compliment and all of this stuff, you have to be very careful of them too. Yeah, so they may use social media to post, um, you know, the low vibrational things about you, low blow things. Again, this person don't have the gut. They don't have the nerve to come to you to say what is on their mind. So they will just talk behind your back. But they hate on your creativity. See, the tower is here to reveal that this person is secretly jealous and hating on your romantic relationship. We saw the card. They're, they're, they, they are or they were or they have sent a death spell towards your counterpart. Because they're jealous. And again, jealousy is a disease. We hope they get well soon. But again, a lot of these people, they never will unfortunately and they're turning others against you this came out with it this for some of you could be a business rival they can't stand your grind and your hustle i'm telling you they're hating on your body image and your your exercise routine so again this person instead of them owning their own flaws their own weaknesses their own insecurities and working on them like Everybody else, the person they're jealous of, had to work on themselves. And again, you may look, and this is why you can't 
underestimate people because you would say, okay, somebody have, or oh, they have this, the money they have, the house they have, the, the things that you would even like to have. But then because of your peace, your joy, they're jealous of that. Because even if they have all the money in the world, they're still not secure within themselves. It can't, at the end of the day, it can't buy happiness, right? It's, and it's the light that is in you. It's the confidence, it's the Godfidence, it's the grace that's within you. You'll be surprised. You're saying, little old me, yes, little old you, people out there, you would, they, they look like the man and the woman when they wear the clothes and yes like i said they may have material things around them that reflect that they are secure but they may be secure in material things but i'm telling you spiritually they are bankrupt they are spiritually bankrupt so this is why you can't sometimes we may let our guards down when we are around people who look like they have more than we do because you're like oh they wouldn't want anything from you but you'll be surprised you share your idea or ideas with this person these people and they hijack it and again because they have resource and they know people and all of this stuff is like they kind of they, they they phase you out shun you close you out from society so that nobody will hear about you while they promote and exalt what you bring, what you create to the table. So what I'm trying to say to you, I hope you get what I'm saying here. Be wise as a serpent and be harmless as a dove. Because what I am sharing with you, these are some of the same mistakes that I have made. And if I had somebody to tell me, but most of the mistakes or things that I've gone through, I didn't have, I don't have anybody to say to me, don't do this, don't do that. Is either, I don't know what you should do, you, you know, and so a lot of it is trial and error. So a lot of it, I pay to learn. So what I'm dropping, what I'm telling you, this is not something that I'm feeling in the darkness about or third party information. I'm saying that you will look at people's face and you will think that they have it all together. That that shave, that makeup, that suit, that dress, you know, it, it really, at the end of the day, it's all a facade. It boils down to the heart. And so as children of God, we need to be able to, just like our father, look at the the heart people look at the outward part but we need to look at the heart take time to look at the uh, the heart observe people and when your your um when your instinct when your gut tells you that something doesn't feel right you need to run you need to move because for all the things that i have gone through i prefer to be wrong than to make the same mistake again that is how much i've been burnt so if my gut my instinct tells me something is not right i am going to go i am going to trust it because it never failed me and this is how over time you you build up muscle with your intuition this is how god communicates with us this is how we come one of the ways that he communicates with us. So you have people projecting their insecurities on you. Yes, you. You will witness this person's karma. You have a copycat in your midst. Again, look out for those over complimenters. Learn to look at people. The eyes are the windows to the soul. I mean, at some point, at some point, this person they can't hold up the facade so long but again sometimes we're not paying close attention i, I love when judge maybelline when she was doing divorce court she would say look deep before you leap because a lot of the times we think 
people will change over time. We think we can change them. We, th we, give in, we, we are giving them the benefit of the doubt when they already show us who they are. And marrying them, friending them, giving them more, pouring lavishly on them is not going to make them change. If anything, the more you do is the more they're going to hate you. Because they're going to wish that even though you are helping them, they still wish that, that they were in your position. So this person hates your creativity. And this is why they're copying you. They copy your work. They copy people wants to copy or they have copied your life, my life. And it's like, I, I don't want people to just copy my life because they see the icing. I want them to experience the grinding because when you're, when you're making a cake, and I remember the, the old fashioned way, how it was done. It wasn't put in a churner and have things whipped up. I remember growing up helping anyone who was making a cake. We had to use the spoon and manually grind the sugar, wheeling it around in the bowl until it start out being very crispy until you don't hear anything. Everything was, and, and, and that's the part I would want people to experience and let them see if they really could walk a second in my shoe. How could they, can they tolerate all the pain, all the surgeries, all the disappointments, all the hurts. And like I said, for a lot of you, a lot of us, these same people, they have a hand in the obstacles and the challenges because clearly they don't like you. They want to copy you. They don't like you. That is not a compliment. When people sometimes say, I want to be like you. When I grow up, I want to. You need to stop and think. And, or ask them why you say that. Because you may need to check that. You may need to correct that statement. Because people may want to be like you for the wrong reasons. It's not really that they admire the hard work that you put in. Like I said, it's only the stuff. They see your glory, but they don't know your story. And even if they know your story, for a lot of these people, they are so wicked. They will know your story, but yet still they try to undermine you. They still think you don't deserve to have to be who you are and who God calls you to be even if you have done the work. But see, the tower is here exposing that this person is secretly jealous and hating also on your romantic relationship. And I've said it before and I'll say it again. When you have a relationship, I don't know why people can't just go. If you like somebody, go to them and say, I like you. It's either they're going to say I don't or whatever, but it's so much where people think that they have this, their boys or their homegirls or their besties and they run to them looking for advice. Only to, well, they don't even know that this person is probably jealous of the person you're telling them about. Or they are jealous because they don't want to see you with that person or vice versa. And then they try to give you bad advice. Or throw monkey wrench in your plans. Keep people out of your life personally and out of your relationship. It will cause less headache. Because guess what? This same hater person is projecting their negative energies. And then while with you, they may not be doing anything to you. But they're projecting nasty energies. They're sending death spell at the person you like. Because they want that person to disappear. They want that person to be wounded. And you, are, and, and you are out there celebrating with this person. Not knowing that behind the scene. They're attacking the person you want to be with. I mean it, it is just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And in front of you they're laughing with you. 
and probably oh yeah maybe you should talk to her but then at the same time or talk to him at the same time he or she they're doing underhanded things and so the tower is here to you know to just throw everything out in the open and again i just love how this year i mean you know and to come this is the beginning oh god is just blowing towers he's just showing up people for the for, for the the evil who they are is like everybody who was covert doing things in the dark everything is now out in the open everybody and see the thing is sometimes when they go around and tell lies on you the people who they tell the lies to they believe them right but then people are coming to realize now that that person is the one behind the scene who was doing all of this dirty work but then those same people is like they find it hard to believe because this person always make it seem as if they can hold themselves they don't believe that this person is the same one doing witchcraft they can't believe that this person made up all of those lies so you see even the people they bring in news to who they got to come up against you those same people did not vet that they, they really don't know that person at the core either so it's just a whole leap of shebang and foolishness going to be exposed i'm telling you oh uh, yeah it's like for some of you your ex and your toxic family members ganged up on you for money uh this person is in a one-sided competition because for a lot of you you don't even know that this person hated you was copying you for a lot of you these are things that you're just coming to learn and and what has been exposed for some of you is that these people they are obsessed you know that devil energy they are toxic so they they're, they are so obsessed with your life they're obsessed you're married you're in a relationship i mean if you if you if you're in a relationship and you're having problems with your partner I mean, get, get a therapist, get somebody you can call, you know, pay them an extra monthly fee where you can call them to run certain ideas by them. And they're going to be impartial. They're not going to be biased, but keep your families, keep your friends out of your personal life. Keep them out for more than one reasons. They will want to take your man, steal your woman sleep with them they want to break your heart because again they're jealous so it's like they want to really get you where it hurts you really bad but these people are also learning touch not the lord's anointed and do his prophets no harm i'm telling you this is why the tower is is blowing and everybody is exposed because your ex so you're gonna see you know the karma how because again it's a lot of karmic justice it's payout big payouts with whichever side you're on everybody's getting big payouts ex and toxic family members they gang up on you for money yeah you will witness their karma they could have been a part of those who were projecting their insecurities on you too you know, with the moon, the things that are unknown. And again, I saw they were sending death magic at your 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 kingdom spouse or partner. You know, so a lot of these people, they were doing a lot of things. And again, we're in that, I don't know whenever you get this message, but you know, it's like the, the full moon is here, you know. And so a lot of things are done some of these people they have rituals where they show up naked some of these people let me tell you that pet you they have did not just die from natural cause okay that was a sacrifice that was a sacrifice <laughs> that was a sacrifice for some of you that that pet did not die of natural cause and this is why i'm saying sometimes you don't even know that you are around somebody who is doing things to hurt you to tear you down 
and they, they, they are given orders to do this. You hear peace, a lot of people, they don't even like pets. Some of them, they just got it just because they want to seem cool with you because you love pets. But they really don't like them. They kick them, they don't feed them. And they offer them up as sacrifices. They offer them up as sacrifice. Yeah, this is a copycat. You know, they're doing things under the moon too with the 12 pentacles. They're trying to move things around in your life. They want you to juggle. You know, it's like in the water with the moon here. It's like there's a spirit, you know, creeping up. So some of them could be working with, you know, water, magic and all of this stuff too. I mean, it's a, it's a, for a lot of these people, you, you have no idea. The cult, whatever they're doing, all the weird things that they, they are doing and what they, they're carrying on with. Because they were promised money. That they were promised that they would gain big off of your back. So again, a lot of these people, they had to make you come across as if you're not stable. I mean, a lot of these people, they, they have... In, in they have lawyer they have doctor they're working with because again it doesn't matter what what profession people are in they are they can still be low vibrational they want more they want more wealth they want more status and so this is why they will do these things and join these organizations where they have people in the background drawing up papers and stuff declaring you mentally unstable and all of this so it's like people are triggering they want to trigger you so badly because again they want to prove a point this is why i'm saying we need to be mindful of our behaviors they want to push you over the edge so that they can say aha i got you they get you they got you exactly where they wanted you to be they have a point to prove so you are protected, you know, for a lot of you, you are this wounded warrior here. You know, it's a lot of things that's been done. Again, they hate the fact that you're creative. And, and again, you have the same person in your camp who you think is on your side and you don't even know that a lot of these attacks that are coming at you, it's from the same people. Who are around you for some of you some of us we we hardly if ever even know this person these people but again it's your light you don't have to have much but it's the God that's in you it's God that's in you it's it's your vibe it's your energy and, and, and that's, you know, it, it's like that's enough to throw a lot of people over the edge. I'm telling you, with the Five of Swords, they want to win at all costs. They want to one-up you. This is why they're copycatting, you know, copycatting. <laughs> this is why they're a copycat. They're copying you. You know, they want to be your double, they want to be your twin. And so this is why they're working so hard to have you wounded so that you don't, you can't stand up, but hey, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord Moses Christ. Stand still, stand still. I'm telling you, yeah, it's, 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 you know, these people, the 10 of cups, this is about your happiness, your celebration here. I'm telling you, your family, your partnership, your relationship. They are obsessed. This is why they, they're watching. They keep watching your life. I broke the deck. You know, it's it could be a, a queen of wands again. A queen of wands. But this person is certainly bitter. This person is not happy at all. Jealous. Very witchy too. This is what I'm saying. It's like, you know, this is somebody 
Yeah, they want to do the Ten of Swords, but you're okay. You're protected. You're okay. Again, keep hope alive. Keep hope alive. Keep the fire burning. Don't allow anybody to steal your joy. Okay? You need to know and understand that, yes, the best is still yet to come. And you're still expecting it. You know, every obstacle is removed. God is removing all blockages. Use wisdom. Knowing that your mind is strong, open and clear. So again, when they want you to have foggy judgment, not to make the best, you're in doubt and all of this stuff. Just know that you're a wise person. That's who you are. Don't allow people to project their own insecurities, their own doubt, their own fears on you. So this is just a video, just a message here, just to show you what what is going on, what is going on around you that you need to be mindful of, okay? Yeah, so it's like be relaxed. Spirit is saying be relaxed, relax, take it easy. You know, courage, you have the courage here. Your bravery increase with each step in the right direction. Move forward. Be strong and be of good courage. And he's going to strengthen your heart. Relax. Be still and know he's God. You know, and come into that flow. And right behind it is the money. So whatever it is that people were trying to hold back from you. The tower is here. We know it. God is showing it. And it is, it is, it. You know, his will will be done in our life. It doesn't matter what they do. All right. So until next time, take care and be blessed.